Hello and welcome to my channel. For years, the whole scientific community has been debating the prospect of a Mars occupation, while Elon Musk has done nothing except reiterate his belief in its feasibility. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the plans of the SpaceX founder to colonize Mars. So before we start, please like and share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more premium content like this. Now let's start with the belief that NASA wasn't doing more to get people to Mars, but the fact that the Earth might become an uninhabitable wasteland in the future. Elon Musk founded SpaceX, the rocket company making headlines today. In case you didn't notice, Mars is one of the closest habitable planets to Earth, and although it's some 140 million miles away, it still receives adequate sunlight and cold, which humans can warm up by compressing the Mars atmosphere, which humans can do easily by growing plants. And mind you, the atmosphere is primarily carbon dioxide, coupled with some nitrogen, argon, and others, while the date is separated with the 24-hour limit on Earth. Overtly, the sustainability of life on Mars is determined by the amount of resources required for colonization. Given the planet's slight differences from our own, those who find themselves on Mars may face some difficulties, particularly if they don't have enough supplies to last them for the duration of their stay. Intriguingly, SpaceX hopes to launch a starship on the back of the Super Heavy Booster, which Musk refers to as the Big Effin Rocket, or BFR, which will be able to carry nearly 13 tons into space. SpaceX claims ownership of the world's most powerful rocket booster, the Falcon Heavy, thus the need for the BFR, which will be able to carry a few hundred tons to space before the eventual 1,000 tons. The Starship transportation system to Mars will see three launches of SpaceX's reusable Starship rockets per day on average, each carrying a 100-ton payload. With more than 1,000 flights per year carrying more than 100 tons of cargo on each flight, a total of 100,000 tons of cargo will be in orbit and ready for delivery to Mars. While most of the fuel will be consumed by each ship flying into orbit around Earth, Several other tanker spaceships could launch and refill the carriers with more fuel to send around 100,000 people from Earth to Mars every 26 months, because the orbits are best aligned for interplanetary travel at that time. As a matter of interest, Earth and Mars align only once in a space of two years, which creates the window for quick passage. The SpaceX ships use liquid methane and liquid oxygen as fuel, which can easily be recreated on Mars using the Sabatier process. In case you didn't know, this type of fuel allows you to reuse rocket boosters for an extended period of time because it burns cleanly. The process uses nickel as the agent to synthesize methane from atmospheric carbon dioxide, and it can easily be replicated on Mars using the Sabatier process. I'm not sure if you're aware of Elon Musk's boring company on Earth, which is attempting to solve the transportation problem. We believe that the Boring Company will be involved in this colonization, as it will first need to dig the surface of Mars in order to access the subsurface water. Additionally, to protect the human colonies from harsh ionizing radiation, initial settlements may need to be organized in deep subsurface artificial encampments. With the Starlink satellite supposedly opening communication paths between the two planets, it shouldn't come as a surprise to learn that Elon Musk might use autonomous vehicles in the form of cars or trucks to carry out distant and difficult missions for the colonists. Although it hasn't been explicitly stated, the vehicles might even be used to mow the grass on Mars. Man-made spaceships could be sent to Mars by SpaceX. The first starships, on the other hand, will serve as residences for astronauts for further evaluations, potentially reducing the mission's complexity by removing the need to build habits on the planet right away. Elon Musk also claimed that a Mars base could be built by 2028, but many life support experts have expressed their reservations, primarily because they do not believe that the necessary technologies for life, let alone a permanent base, will be ready in time. While images on SpaceX's website of a rusty red planet morphing into an Earth-like world suggest a hypothetical process of terraforming, while this type of climate change is deliberate, it suggests that Mars could be morphed into a wet and warm world, far better suited for ceaseless human colonization, only if the carbon dioxide rich ice caps on Mars are easily melted. NASA, on the other hand, does not believe in the possibility of lasting. From this facility in Boca Chica, Texas, it has launched many test flights of Starship prototypes and is preparing for many more tests to come in the near future. 
The colonization of Mars will most likely take years, but it will undoubtedly be worth the wait in the end. Thank you for watching.